Hey everyone, welcome back to some more RimWorld. So, um, yeah, a lot, lot of shit went down last time. Uh, we've decided to change things up, go a little bit more, a little bit more chilled this time round. Don't know why there's a load of steel there. Um, and what I've done is actually te tweaked the difficulty down to uh, peaceful mode. So things are a lot more relaxed. We're still on Randy Random, but we're down on peaceful from, I think we were on rough before. Uh, which basically means it won't be too, won't get too much going on, too many nasty things happening. Because I want us to get a bit of base building done, get a bit more progress there, get a bit of defense up, uh, rather than just getting constantly wrecked all the time. So we're going to do that for a session, then we'll go back to normal difficulty. Um, I think it'll be fine. Um, I just recorded for like 10 minutes without realizing the video wasn't actually recording, so I'll try and uh, update on everything that I just updated everyone on and then forgot. Um, I have built, what have we done? We've got a big fridge dug out, we've got a nice new, well, freezer rather. Uh, we've got some, we've got cold snap going on at the moment, so I built this sort of heating thing here. We've got a couple of heaters, and then we've done vents going between these rooms here to share that heat between them. It sort of equalizes the temperature between rooms, to an extent anyway. You can see this one's like 13 degrees, this one's 20, uh, but the unheated ones here are minus 15, so pretty big difference. Um, Lamb was just suffering from a little bit of hypothermia, but I think he's, um, I think he's okay now. You'll, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> it's just a bit chilly. It's mostly because he's been walking around just wearing trousers, so that's been a, a bit of an issue uh, for a while. You could really do with just being inside, mate, to be honest. Look, just go and, just go and stand in this room for a while. And that's probably a good idea. So yeah, we've got that. We've done a bit more digging. Uh, this is going to be like the power room, I think. This is going to be the hospital once we've dug it out. I want to get a bit of a crafting room going on though, I'm kind of tempted to use this for crafting instead. Um, because we need to start making some clothes, we're really, we've only got shitty clothes, and no one's got any warm clothes. Um, and it's a good way of kind of leveling up skills as well, so that's kind of priority. Growing season's done, uh, I, I did like a couple of hours off, off cam, off recording last time, so we're a little bit further along, it's nearly winter. Oh, we need to go and harvest some meat soon for all the animals kind of bugger off. In fact, I need to do that very soon. What else? We've we got any herds of stuff knocking about? Got a mega sloth. They're pretty good for meat. Oh, hello. We've got a herd of mufflos. Nice. I might go and start wrecking them. It's probably a good idea. Poor old wolf. We need to watch out for this um, wag thing, though. Maybe we'll just go and kill that first of all. But, um... Yeah, we made, we made pretty good progress. I think uh, we tied it up after last, last time, sort of Shit storm. Things things got pretty heated. Um, oh yeah, we've got rid of the little death room. We put some graves down, so I think rubber's buried here somewhere. Yeah, there's rubber um, and a whole bunch of random pirates and and such that have attacked us over the over the days, the weeks, the seasons. We didn't manage to get any weed grown. Uh, I think we actually had it set to disallow sowing for a while, which is why they weren't doing it, kind of by accident. But there you go. Um, but otherwise, we're good. Lambs, lambs, just warming up. How you doing, mate? He's fine. Cool. Right, we'll undraft you. Crack on. Um, and this one can be ooh, a medical bed, I suppose. We don't really want anyone going in there while it's this cold. Come on, cold snap. Bugger off. That's what they were doing. They're all clearing this at the moment. Good, good. Okay. So, right, temperature in there is fine. We can't really tell because it's a cold snap anyway. Let's get a bench down for them to make some clothes because we've got cloth, right? We grew a bit of cloth. 375, not tons, but you know, enough to um, enough to be getting on with. I might get them mining out the um, this bit as well. In fact, mining just generally is going to be pretty useful. Maybe we should even start digging out the storage area, move all this storage inside. I think that's going to be good. Probably just need one. Well, let's do let's do two for now. Dig out two of those. And then we'll do a little entranceway in there as well. Let's just cancel those bits. Cool. And then these are going to be the bedrooms going up here. But we probably won't worry about that just yet. I think that'd be fine. Where can we do crafting? You know, if we make this power, power is going to be important. So I want to use mostly. Um, we're kind of stockpiling wood a little bit because we're going to use mostly these generators for the time being. So we need a kind of room to put a bunch of them inside. Uh, I don't know how healthy that's going to be. I don't know if they like kick out gas and kill you or anything. We'll find out, I suppose. But um, but yeah, we uh, we we definitely need some of those. This thing's going to run out of space real quick. 
but crafting, uh, crafting certainly something we need. It can't go out here because I don't want to build any more stuff out here because I want to strip this down kind of pretty soon, really. As soon as we've got the bedrooms and storage going on inside, then we'll do that. Okay, so maybe crafting can go. Don't really want to go. Make it this into a corridor, I suppose, and then it could be down here behind the hospital. I'm just trying to think what it's useful for it to be near. No, it needs to be near storage. It's going to be useful, isn't it? So they can run back and forth and get uh, get the components they need for the things they're crafting. So maybe we'll make um, maybe this can be the we'll make this a crafting room, and then these can be storage rooms. That's pretty good, right? Or maybe this can be the crafting room. Mm. Yeah, we'll do that because then it's going to be quicker for them to dump storage stuff in here. Oh, we also smoothed a lot of this floor. You can do a thing called smooth floor, which, um, which, as you can imagine, smooths the floor. But it makes it quicker to walk on. So this is 100% walk speed now. Uh, the normal ground, I think, is like 87%, something like that. So it's a little boost. Makes things a little bit more efficient. Yeah, I think that's a good shout. We'll make this this um, crafting. We can even maybe extend it over here a little bit uh, to give them a little bit more room. Or maybe we can make. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. How we see how we get on. But we want to get the like the tailor's bench, uh, we want to get someone making guns, all that kind of good stuff. Right, how's everyone doing? Ben is researching uh, machining, which is going to give us, what is that, guns, right? Yeah, the table for making guns, which we definitely need. Uh, we also want to get like a stone cutter going on. Got a broken auto door, that's fine, someone will sort that out. So also want to start, let's just get rid of this for now, because we're not going to grow anything there for a while. I also want to start thinking about kind of defense and a bit of a some sort of kill zone to make it a bit easier to deal with people. It's the main door as well that's broken. Brilliant. I'm thinking something like, I don't know, kind of walling all the way down here and down here and just leaving like a thin, a single bit for them to come in that maybe sort of ships them round like, I don't know, maybe we'll like dig a tunnel through through here. So they all come through like a single bit, uh, and then a bit of a windy bit here, and then we'll fill it all with this crap so it slows them down loads, it splits them up. Uh, we'll give that a go. I think that'll work pretty nicely. We do want to make, I might make a little shack to do some stone cutting, so you need to, if you don't have the table wins out, if you have the table for stone cutting outside, then they'll do it slower, so I want to do it as like a little room somewhere really. Um, so the one we want to build is Sculptor's table? No, it's the um, stone cutters, right? Yeah, cool. How big is that? Normal size, right? So let's build the room around it. So we've got all this stuff here, so we might as well put it kind of nearby that. Um, and if we're going to have the route through being like there, we could just do it like here. We don't want them to get distracted going and smashing up the, uh, the stone cutter bit, really. We'll chuck it there. Let's see if we go. And then we'll go wall and I don't know, so you can have a chair there let's just do there we go fine and can have a torch and yeah you know that'd be fine doesn't need much does it does need a door pretty be useful cool and then some sort of floor I suppose would probably be uh, pretty be useful you go for concrete and then we want to de-zone, right? Or is that going to get de-zoned because I built there? It is. Okay, nice, nice. Right. Well, there we go. Go quickly. Let's try and uh, let's get everyone to crack on. See what we get up to. Oh, oh, come on, cold snap. Just piss off. You'd make my life a lot easier if you went away. Right. Cool. Grills tidying. Excellent. Crack rounds busy digging. Chefs cooking. Um, what's Ben doing? Researching. Right, Ben, we're going to get you going to shoot stuff. Don't worry about your power armor. We'll just, uh, we'll wing it. Mega sloth. Nice. Okay, well, you're you're going to be slow, so... Where are you going with that? Oh, you're building. Okay, fine. We do want you drafted. We can get Lamb to, uh, <laughs> Lamb can help out as well. Go on, Lammy. Get involved, mate. There's some good eating on those. Is this guy running away or just happened to be walking that way? Come on, you shit. 
Oh my god, such bad shots. Come on. Headshot. Nice. Come on, chase it down. Chase it down. Cold snap is over. Ah, oh, thank god. Finally. Oh, come on. He's got to be really badly hurt, right? Yep. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Got anything else knocking around we can shoot? Not really. Not really. I don't know where that wog went. Come on. There we go. Go okay, nice. Right. Ben, you go and finish the job. Lamb, you can crack on. Uh, with that, whatever you were doing. Ooh, nice. I'll go and shoot these guys afterwards as well. Dead. Right. Someone come and grab that. Chef. Grab him. Ben, you go and shoot more stuff. We're on a meat mission. We're on a meat mission. Here we go. Gotta be careful when you're doing uh, hunting, because sometimes the stuff can, like, it will get angry and come and attack you. Normally this sort of stuff's not too bad, but, you know, it can happen with anything. You can get savaged by a, an angry turtle, all sorts. Uh, but generally speaking, it's the wolves that are going to be the most issue and uh, stuff like that. The, the notoriously angry stuff. Uh, but you got to be careful. Stuff with it that's in packs like this can be really sketchy, because if they hold, if one of them turns, then the whole pack will kind of flip out and, um, and go for you. Which obviously uh, can be a pretty bad situation if you have like seven muffalos charging you down and you're not paying attention. If you just left them on auto hunt, uh, you can have a really bad time. So uh, yeah, little tip. Come on, guys, stop. You're making my making my life hard here. How's this guy doing? Is he going to bleed out? No, not really. Oh. There we go, he's starting to uh, starting to get pretty shot now. Okay, let's go and get these guys while they walk off the edge of the map. Hopefully that guy will just um, drop dead. Crack Grant, what are you doing? Digging, coming. Oh, Grill's getting that one fine, excellent. I don't know why the animals are so insistent on going this way. <laughs> Nice, he's down, right. Throw right, this one. Crack ground, what are you up to? Digging. Come and grab this one. What else we got that Ben can uh, mercilessly slaughter? Let's see if we can get these ones before they bugger off. Looks like this guy's going to go off the map, yep. And probably this guy as well. Why is there like, one oak tree left on the whole map? Oh, no, there are a few died around. Bizarre. Okay, I think this guy's. Uh, this guy's gonna go bye bye. There's a oh, there's a wagon. Oh, whole bunch of deer down here. Let's go and shoot some more stuff. Is there anything a bit close? I mean, that's that's getting pretty far away from the base, right? You all right, the crack ground. Yeah, she's good. There's another wag. What's that? A raccoon or something? An alpha beaver. Wow, some of them left. Yeah. Oh god, careful now. See if we can. Uh... Oh no, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Okay. I don't know how quick wags are. What's the speed on a? What's the speed of an unladen wag? Have a look. Movement speed five. What's my movement speed? Four point five eight. So he is quicker than me. Um. But I have a gun and can shoot him and injure him and make him slower. So you know. Let's uh, let's give it a go. <laughs> It'll be fine. Let's get a bit closer though. Okay. We just need to keep tagging him till we drop his speed. Nice front left paw. That's good. Nice. One more. Right now, run, run. Oh, that is very close. He's. 4.27, we're just faster than him now. He is in severe pain though, so he's gonna get worse. We just need to keep running. Uh, and he should be, he'll start taking damage. He's gonna get worse and worse health. That was really close though. That was silly. He, man, he could have absolutely ruined me as well. There you go, look, he's starting to get, starting to get a bit slow now. Careful there, Grill. We've got, a, we've got an angry wog here. 
Ooh, look at these lovely guys. Nice. We'll go and kill them in a bit. Once this wag's sodded off. Come on, mate. Might need to rope Lamb into uh, helping out this situation. This guy's not dropping as quick as I hoped he could. Would. Right, Lamb. You come and, uh... Come and get ready for some shooting. Very nice, thank you Lamb. Crack on, crack on. Ben can finish the job. That's the old meat situation looking now. Oh, there we go, we've got 287 of that um, mega sloth meat. Man, those mega sloths really kick out some meat. Come on mate, look, it's... How long does it take to kill an almost unconscious one? There we go. No? There we go. Oh, yeah, that's probably me, because I've been running around doing this for ages. No, it's not, actually. What would he do if I stopped? He would rest. Okay, we'll let you go and have a sleep, Ben. Fine, fine. Crack ran. Grab that. Oh, God. Right, let's, um... Need to get all this stuff out of here. And this one. And we need to put a... Torch in there. Fine. I might make a little room for them to just chuck all the cut stone over here as well, otherwise they're gonna finish it and they have to carry it all the way over here. Uh, which can be a bit annoying. And most of it are probably gonna use out here. I guess we'll start using it at some stage for um for art, making artworks and sculptures and stuff. But uh, but certainly not for the time being. What are you doing, lamb? Playing horseshoes, fine. Crack Grant's having a good dig. Nice, good to see. Let's pull this shit out. How's the uh the old steel component situation? Steel, not bad. Component, oh, there were loads of components. Oh yeah, I did go on a bit of a mad run and collected all the um like crash ship parts. Winter has begun. Uh, yeah, I did that last time, so that was um, that was pretty useful. They'll give us a nice supply of components. Oh, look, we've got all these animals in here. We haven't even had to uh, cut them up yet, so we've got plenty of meat stashed away. Might start thinking about getting this power up, then we can start running cables everywhere and have lights rather than these torches going through all our wood. It's probably going to be a good option. Stone cutter. Right, let's get someone cutting stone. That's going to be useful. Oh, any stone blocks? Oh, that's a new thing they've added. Nice. Um, yeah, any stone blocks is good. Well, what have we got here? We've got marble. Oh, marble, tiny bit of granite. Um, no, it's just most pretty much all marble. Fine. Just make any stone block. I think that'd be fine. We'll put it as do forever. Um, I don't know who's actually going to... Who's the good one? I think it was Lamb, wasn't it? We wanted to... Yeah, do that. So... Yeah, that's cool. Okay, Lamb, will get cracking. It's not going to be the most fun, but um, we need it for defense, and it'll be good for leveling up his crafting as well, so... That'll be fine. Junk spacecraft. Nice, nice. Where is that? That's not nearby. That's miles away. How's the old research coming on? Taking a while. Dingin's going pretty well though. Man, I really wish I had that bloody elephant around to do some pooling. We'll have to um, we'll have to buy some animals from some traders next time we get them. What's Lamb doing? You on the uh? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is the problem, right? We need to. Why is the grass growing back already? Because the cold snap ended. I... Oh, is the cold snap that killed everything and everything kind of grew back a little bit and then is now going to die again? Because winter. Nice. So let's put a... I don't want to put the stuff outside. It's going to... Hmm. Where are we going to wall off? We're going to wall off like... I guess for now we need to... Oh, it doesn't matter, I suppose, does it? Let's just get him to dump it all in here and then it won't take him like ages to... Uh... 
to put it away. So clear all. Uh, is it chunks? Stone chunks? No, not chunks. We want blocks. Where do we make the blocks? Hmm. It's not a textile. It's not any of that stuff. It's not food. Raw resources. Well, it doesn't feel like a raw resource, but sure. Okay, stone blocks. Great. All in there. Critical. Where are you putting that, mate? All that. Boom, there we go. Cool. So it's not super far for him to walk. It's a bit of a ball lake, but you know. Um, that'll do for now. Temporary solution. Ah, nice. So we've got some more fine meals being made now, because uh, we've got meat. Because I think they need, like, meat and veg, or two meat and two veg. Something like that. Good work, Crackran. How are you doing at the old uh, mining now? Oh, she's getting, getting pretty good at mining. Nice. Good growing, but she can't do any of that in the winter, so... Mining by winter, growing by spring and summer. Which sounds pretty good. Ben having a little sleep. Fine, fine, fine. I guess we can probably... What temperature is it? Uh, we might as well leave these heaters. We'll give them a nice temperature to sleep in. We're actually saving up power pretty well as well now. And the freezer's doing alright, which is great. We have, we've got this one turned off at the moment. We didn't need all three. I put them there just in case. We don't actually need them, but I decided to just leave it there. Um, I guess if there's like a heat wave, then we might need to turn this one on to keep it down. Or if we did want to expand this and make it into an even bigger freezer, which we might... To be fair, I mean, this is a big ass freezer, but you know, it, it never hurts to have too much food. We've got a lot in there, we've got 1200 potatoes, 1200 rice, um, and quite a few dead animals as well. So, I think we're set for especially for our small number of colonists. But, uh, yeah, I might start looking at bringing this power situation inside maybe once she's finished this, um, this digging. Do, 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 get that hauled. Yeah, let's get some power down. Man, this research really, really takes forever. But it's worth doing. Okay, so building wise, we want to go and see how we can do this. I don't know how many of these generators we're feasibly going to need. Probably not too many, but I might do. I mean, how could we get in if we did like one two, three, four. That fits quite nicely there. And then if we have like batteries behind them, we could have like eight batteries and then more jennies. I mean, I don't think we even need this much room. I'm trying to think how much power we're going to be because we don't need to fill up the whole room with it yet, do we? That'd be a bit overkill, and it's going to absolutely rinse through all our steel and components. But let's just do a little test layout, see what will actually fit in here. Because we want it to be... I mean, maybe I'll... Uh, get rid of these. Bar what? Can you rotate these? You can. Nice. So we could... um. We could have eight jennies and then, like, eight batteries as well. That would probably work pretty nicely. Uh, but I think I'll... We'll, so we'll go with that, but we'll get rid of a bunch of them for now, because I don't think we need all that. We'll just go for that. Uh, and I think that'll be more than enough. We won't have all these on either. We can kind of turn them on and off as we need them to sort of scale up and scale down. That's the kind of plan. Scalability. Expand roof build area. So we want to have a roof here. Roof here. Roof here. Uh, at some stage we're going to go and replace all these kind of stone natural walls with proper walls. Because I, um, I think they're better for insulation, maybe. But they're certainly better for like beauty and stuff. And yeah, we can't do that yet until they've actually dug it out. Uh, but yeah, so that's we're not going to leave this permanently as like cave walls. You know, that kind of drags people down. Everyone, not everyone digs a cave wall. Not everyone digs a cave wall. Oh, shit, man. Wow, that was really bad. How are you doing in the old research, Ben? You getting there? 11? Yeah, not bad. 
get to the stage now where their, their skills are starting to go up quite nicely and they start to get pretty good. Well, 20 is the max. Once you get up to 20 on a skill, it's pretty beast. Especially stuff like crafting and construction. Is that just here? Tiny area revealed, thanks. Um, yeah, because then you can, when you construct stuff, like you can see here, the quality of this is awful. These chairs are awful. Uh, the beds probably, no, that one's good, shoddy. So all sorts. Once you've got really high construction, you can make like really nice beds, the masterwork beds, and then they get a massive buff for sleeping in them. So stuff like that's really useful. And it also makes the, the room just look really appealing and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely worth doing. Um, ooh, right, we don't really want to power these up yet, so turn that off. We're not going to, we'll wait till we got all of this up and then I guess we can remove this stuff. Although, we kind of need these heaters anyway, and the bedrooms aren't anywhere near done. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We'll get, like, I think we'll leave like, one of these on. We'll leave, yeah. We'll leave one on and we'll turn one back, well, we'll get the batteries in. Get those filling up and then we can connect this up to the main power grid. Ooh, we've struck compacted machinery, cool, that's handy. Or two different lots of it as well, nice. Nice, so that's how you get uh, one of the ways of getting components. You dig this stuff out and you get components from it. And there's not a vast amount of it about, so it's pretty it's pretty handy to find. Clear snow, that's not what I meant. What am I going to do? Clear plans. Boop, there we go. So, right, we've got a bit of, a few blocks going on now, which is nice. Why are you sleeping in the medical bed? Oh, you need um, your asthma, your asthma stuff done. Come on, go and, uh, does he not need attention? There's someone else doing it. Reserved by, uh, oh, Crack Gran's doing it. Okay, fine, fine. Crack on, Crack Gran. Man, look at all this stone. Good work, Lammy, good work. In your shitty little hut. Right. God, still still researching way. You'll be fine, you'll get there. We'll keep it on max speed. Drug addiction. No, we don't care about that. We've we've dealt with drug addiction. Okay, fine. So we've got this on now. Let's um that's all built. So let's just connect up. We'll just put one in each, just Yeah, fine. So it's all nicely connected. And then I guess we want to start running we want power running kind of through it's going to have to through the floors because um, we can't run it under this stuff, the uh, the mountain, the mountain walls. So we just have to kind of run it through the floor, which is a bit annoying, but we'll just do it anyway. So we can start to, there we go, we'll connect that up there, we'll take some in there. And I guess we'll do one going all the way over here and then there as well and we can start to uh, I guess we want to have one going like this there we go it's pretty excessive uh, one ton building but you know fine we'll get it all done now and then we can kind of scrap this stuff new lovers Lamb and Crack Gran have come together and are now lovers. Oh, how wonderful. How wonderful. What a beautiful occasion. Well, we'll get you get you a double bed down. Which is um which is your room? Ben, Chef, Lamb, Crack Gran's the one with all the plants. You don't need all those plants now. You now your crack habit's gone. We can uh, we can ditch some of those actually. In fact, we're gonna um, deconstruct your bed and put a, a double bed in. Because only the best for uh, for, uh, for lamb and crack gran, only the best. Man, I did not see that coming. I guess you know now she's probably she's looking great. She's kicked that drug addiction. She's she's reformed. She's a new woman. Lamb's seen that. You know she's really come out of her shell and just um, just starting to grow into you know a beautiful human being. There we go. We get a nice double bed down for uh, for lamb and crack gran to share. 
Wonderful. There we go. And this can now be the medical one, and we can um, we can deconstruct that and that. Oh no, not not that. Not all of those. Just that one. Fine. Boom. There we go. Okay. So set owner lamb and crack gran. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Right, how are we going on? Oh, they've got all those cables down nice and quick. Excellent. How's this doing? Is that... What's this even powering? Fine, fine. Clear all that out of the way. I guess they can't clear a lot of that because it's this stuff's all full up, right? Yeah, we need, to, um, we need to make this stuff bigger. Can we just expand it out a little bit? We'll just uh, we'll do that. There we go. Bam. Done. We haven't got a huge amount of stuff in here yet, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Maybe we'll turn, uh, turn another one of these on just to get these batteries filling up a little bit quicker. So what I want to do now is kind of replace all of these with uh, with lights so we stop... Oh, not power conduit. There we go. Deconstruct. 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 We want only the finest normal lighting. Standing lamp, there we go. So maybe something like that, like that. And then we need some corridor lighting. Do we need one in here? Doesn't matter too much. We'll have one on the corner. And then we'll definitely need a couple in the surgery a lot of these once I've got all these in I'll probably go through and uh, disconnect ones that we're kind of not really using the rooms of at the moment and then it will save a little bit of power but we might as well get them in and then we can turn them off ah oh, nearly done with that research finally good stuff 